talk about, guys, is for entertainment purposes only. All right, so here's our ES chart. We're going to go over the broader market first, as always, guys. If you're new to this, we have a format. I'll talk about the broader market. Then we're going to move into sector analysis. And then we'll get into the ideas, longs and shorts. All right. So not, not a lot has changed since last week. You know, we got the rally that we were kind of talking about. And it should come as no surprise where the rally went to. It went pretty much right up to the 20-day. And then we're right back to new lows. Now, the chart that actually interests me is the weekly. Um, because... You know, we start getting too caught up on a daily chart or even worse, intraday charts. And we start to lose focus at just how far off we are from certain levels. Uh, I think the weekly chart here does a great job of showing you just how extended we are actually getting from the weekly 20. The weekly 20 is the white line on this chart, guys, in case you don't understand. So look at what happened the last two times we got about this actually we're more extended now from the weekly than we were on this one where we pushed back into it and this one where we pushed back into it so we could obviously go lower and that's you know you'll often hear me say the could versus should could we go lower of course we can should we go lower i don't think we can start i don't think we can say that confidently um the further we get away from the weekly 20. so Yes, of course we can come down here. You know, I have some levels marked. You see these alerts? The orange dotted lines are my alerts for this coming week, right? Um, so down here around this 3,700 level and then 37 or 3,650. Those are the two levels, you know, that are lower where I will be looking to see if we break last week's lows, if we come down to those areas. But I actually think when you start to see this many, show me another time where we've gotten this many weekly red candles, right? Like we can go back into other bear markets. Like even here, right? Even this one's a really, really long one. Uh, it didn't it didn't matter because look at the distance we extended down before finding some support and trying to push back up. Um, yes, we came lower, but we pushed back up. You guys gotta understand that they don't, it's not just gonna go straight down. So I don't know if we rally this week or not, but I am preparing myself you know, you'll hear me say that a lot as well. Like we need to make plans, contingency plans for every every different scenario. Um, so I definitely want to be prepared for if we if we have a big rally this week. Um, and so you'll see that when we get into the other the uh, individual ideas. So let's go back to the daily chart. I mean, the monthly really, you know, we can look at it because we haven't started a new month yet. So it's not going to look a lot different than last week's prep. But again, you know, not only are we pretty extended on the weekly uh, time frame? We've actually overshot through the week, uh, the monthly 20 by quite a bit. Now it's not like unheard of. You can see back in 2020 and in 20 late 2018, early 2019, we came right through that monthly 20 as well, uh, down into the monthly 50. Uh, but the further we get south, the more likely to get that that big old rally back is is going to be. And I want to make sure I'm prepared that for that. I don't want one, it's not just about um, it's not just about like staying safe and making sure like I don't get hurt because I'm short. I want to be able to prepare myself to capitalize on that to make money on some of these longs that are setting up if the market does rally. So that's really the point. That's the point of kind of acknowledging this. Um, and I I also want to point out too is we see this happen a lot where we just come and break lows by a little bit and then snap back up. So like, you know, we didn't close below those lows. We didn't close below two weeks ago's lows. We just kind of probed lower and then popped back up. So um, I really do think there's a good chance of a nice rally this week. Again, if we were to rally into some serious levels and do so emotionally, there's a lot of resistance up here as well where I will be willing to take shorts on names that are set up for that. But uh, I want to be prepared for every scenario. So um Obvious, you know, the 20 day is going to be uh, the first level of real resistance. I have a few that are marked from last week uh, based on intraday. Let's uh, take a look at, let's just change this to an hourly. All right, yeah, so you can see right here in this, you know, 3970 area and then uh, up here around 4030. 40, uh, and I would almost consider this just a range, right? It's going to put us kind of into this descending downtrend. The 20 days right up there. Anywhere in this area, I think we're going to find some resistance. And, uh, you know, it's also a psychological round level, 4, 4K, uh, you know, kind of coincide with that 400 SPY level. Um, 
but above that you have 4090 and then I've got a few you know when I start getting too many alerts in here like this um, I think some of these are probably left over from the previous week uh, you know I would probably go through here and be willing to take a few of these out and just be focused on some of the more um, important levels especially this one up here around this quarterly pivot which is going to put us right around that 4150 area and then of course way up further I don't think we we're going to rally up here this week but just in case obviously the 50 day and then that uh, 4270 4280 area um, if we were to somehow get up there that's going to probably act as some serious resistance especially if we get there emotionally but um, that's the uh, S&P for me. Let's head over to the NQ, the NASDAQ. Uh, 